Are you tired of taking painkillers for your chronic back pain? And maybe they only work for a little while for you and you're looking for some more relief. Well, don't go anywhere because these are my nine tips for back pain relief. And number nine might just surprise you. So how do we get back pain? Well, one of the most common causes that nobody's talking about is dehydration and dehydration in our cells, especially our mitochondrial cells, which make their own water. And that dehydration happens within the spine itself and within the discs, which of course separate each of our vertebrae in the spine. So we need to maintain this proper hydration from the inside out. And this is taking care of our mitochondrial health. If you have lack of sunlight, lack of being grounded, maybe a lot of EMF exposure in your environment, these could all be common causes of that chronic back pain and something that you may not have heard about before. One of the things that you can have tested in your blood work the next time that you have some routine blood work done and ask your doctor for is called the HSCRP, the highly sensitive CRP. This C-reactive protein is an inflammatory marker in the body and will give an indication if you have that chronic inflammation that could be definitely affecting your back pain, but also is an indicator for leptin resistance. And if you don't know what leptin resistance is, it's about all of your hormonal balancing in your body, has a lot to do with chronic inflammation as well. So please, if you want to learn more about that, check out my other videos on leptin resistance. But do ask your doctor for that HSCRP test the next time that you're in and get that information to see if you do have that chronic inflammation. But here we go. Here are the nine tips for back pain relief. Tip number one, follow mother nature's prescription. Well, what does that mean? That means getting outside, getting grounded, getting natural sunlight exposure, which is so important for your overall health and decreases that inflammation. Every time you're grounded on the earth, you're bringing electrons from the earth into your body, helps to counteract that inflammation inflammation as proved in the science. Tip number two for chronic back pain relief is to lower your EMF exposure. And I'm talking about man-made EMF. So things like Wi-Fi, those cell phone towers, as well as your cell phone itself, put it on airplane mode. Also limit your blue light or artificial light exposure as well. So whenever you can, if you are in artificial lights, put on your blue light blocking glasses, cover your skin as well, because our skin has a bunch of light receptors. You want to decrease that inflammatory response by limiting your exposure to those toxic lights. Tip number three is to include more magnesium. So whether that's dietary magnesium, which in my opinion is very difficult to get enough magnesium from dietary sources. Certainly seafood is one of those sources for dietary magnesium, nuts and seeds as well. But unfortunately, because our soils have become so depleted, it's very difficult to get enough magnesium from those food sources. You may need to go to a supplement and searching up the right type of supplement to take for magnesium is really important. So I prefer a magnesium bisglycinate. I promise that we'll put some links below this video so that you can learn more about that that. Okay, tip number four for back pain relief is to include some natural anti-inflammatories. So the research now shows that curcumin is one of these superfood ingredients. So that's the active component of turmeric, which has some great science behind it in terms of being able to have an anti-inflammatory effect, even compared up against some of the most used and sought after conventional pharmaceutical ingredients that of course are used for chronic pain and inflammation, curcumin does really well in terms of those studies to get people out of pain, out of inflammation and will really help with that back pain. As well as some of my other favorites, MSM, chondroitin sulfate, and glucosamine sulfate as well. So these, again, have great studies behind them to show that anti-inflammatory effect and can be really something fantastic that you are taking for a natural way to relieve that back pain. Tip number five is to exercise. So yes, as much as it may be painful, especially in the beginning, if you do have that chronic back pain, but finding some gentle exercise, things like walking. And my tip number six is including more yoga, Pilates into your daily routine, a great way to alleviate some of those stresses on the spine, stretching out the spine and the musculature and the fascia around those ligaments. And of course, all of the vertebrae in the spine, really important that you're getting regular exercise. Tip number seven, avoid the polyunsaturated fatty acids, the PUFAs. And these are the canola oil, the vegetable oil, all of those 
Unfortunately, unhealthy fats are and do have an inflammatory effect on your body. Incorporating more of the healthy fats into your diet, so things like avocado oil, avocados are fantastic, and other healthy fats like olive oil, really getting a high quality fat when you are purchasing these fats, but a fantastic way to have now a natural anti-inflammatory effect. And of course, you know that I love my fish oil, so that's something that I take as a supplement to ensure that I'm getting enough of especially the DHA and the EPA every day to help with chronic back issues. And tip number eight is to do regular detox. And I'm talking about full body detox using specific herbal medicines to get those toxins out of the body, alleviating that toxic load. And that will really help with circulation and your lymphatic system as well. And tip number nine is the mind-body connection. So where you actually experience the pain in your back can be related to what's going on with your mental status and some stuck emotions that may not have been fully processed. And this could be as back as 10, 15, 20, 50 years ago, if you haven't properly focused in on and alleviated some of those emotional blocks. So one of the things to think about if it's related to the low back pain, which is very common common for people. This area of the body is a second chakra and can be related to things like unresolved relationship issues. This area of the body is also related to your finances. So financial struggles and not being able to process what's going on with relationships all can have a seat in this part of the body in that low back. When we talk about mid-back, so in the thoracic region, this has to do with your support structure, being able to stand up for yourself, and of course, having that support structure in your life in general is important as well. So maybe you've suffered through a tragedy or loss of home, you don't have financial support or emotional support around you, that can manifest in problems in the mid-back area, just something to think about. And when we talk about the upper back, so we're talking about into the cervical spine, but also the upper thoracics, this can have things related to your pride. So if you tend to be rounded and sort of hiding yourself, maybe there's a shame issue as well. So standing tall, keeping your shoulders back and having great self-esteem is going to go a long way with good posture, but also helping if you do have that chronic pain in this area of the body and having a certain amount of pride, of course, is not a bad thing. So I hope those tips will help you in terms of your chronic back pain and will offer you some relief for that back pain. Now for more tips on how to do a full body detox, please check out my video, nine ways to detox and cleanse for a total body detox. I'll see you there.